Hi everyone, it's me again. I bet you didn't know I'm also the greatest mountain biker in the entire universe. People ask me how I do it, and I tell them one thing, Raycon. Because they sound just as good as any other top audio brand, I can listen to my favorite music while destroying mountains. It's important that these earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium earbud on the market because I spent all my money on this goddamn mountain bike. Their everyday E25 earbuds are the best model yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. They come in new, fun colors and a nice little carrying case that charges them. You'll never actually be as good as me, but if you want to try, you can click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash donut operator to get 15% off your purchase. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Hi everyone, Donut here. Just got a short little video about some of the things that have been going on in Portland. You saw one of my uh, previous videos where I was talking about how President Trump sent in the Department of Homeland Security, Border Patrol, some other federal agencies to help clean it up. Because as we've seen on my channel, especially for the past three, four years, that people have been tearing it to pieces. Primarily people in black skinny jeans and black hoods who call themselves anti-fascist when they are actually the ones quelling uh, freedom of speech. And I know a couple of you anti-fascist groups on Facebook have been following me around town. Remember what I said in that Twitter post, though. Anyways, on to what's happening. I came across a headline today. This headline I came across said, Portland mayor demands removal of camouflage-clad agents detaining protesters. Why would you want to remove people who are hitting federal officers with hammers, spray-painting things, and setting a bunch of stuff on fire? I came across another headline that said, Unidentified federal agents are detaining protesters in Portland. Protesters, plural. I have literally only seen one video of this happening. Use your words. What is going on? We need to know Who are you? And now that I think about it, the video that I did show last week, I, I watched it a few more times and it almost looks like an informant extraction over an arrest. The guy knows to put his hands behind his back automatically and they don't even put any flexi cuffs on him. I don't know. Either way, this article is talking about unidentified officers. I guess they missed the part where the guy's not wearing a mask. He has his badge number clear and a patch on that says border security. Control, whatever. And then I got to looking at Twitter, the most informed place on the internet that is the home base, the, the temple of calm, rational discussion. And what pops up? A tweet from New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that says the United States of America should not have secret police. Followed by a tweet that says federal law enforcement officers should have their identifying information displayed while on duty. This is basic. Eleanor Norton, another representative, and I have introduced legislation to make it law. You know, I don't get into politics, but this is my wheelhouse right here. She's saying that federal agents who have arrest powers need to have their name visible, their badge, and their badge number. Kind of like the officer who is unidentified right here with his badge number and, and border patrol and he doesn't have a mask on. When you start getting into last name stuff, especially for federal agents, I feel like that can be pretty dang dangerous. I think she also forgot one huge tactic when it comes to policing. Undercover work. Surely she put something in the bill that exempts undercover officers from having to do this. Surely. Surely. Well, I'm no rocket surgeon, but I read the bill and it doesn't say anything about undercover agents in it. This is called the Law Enforcement Identification Transparency Act of 2020. The head of each federal law enforcement agency shall implement a policy requiring that a federal law enforcement officer in uniform or plain clothes employed by a federal law enforcement agency make visible the following identification while on duty or serving the public as a federal law enforcement officer. The last name of such federal law enforcement officer, the name of the federal law enforcement agency, the federal law enforcement officers employed, a badge number or other identification number from the federal law enforcement agency employing such federal law enforcement officer pursuant to subparagraph B. Also involved in the bill is a lot about doing audits and inspector general oversight, some other stuff. If you want to read the bill and get into the other stuff and see what I'm talking about in here, then I'll leave a link to that in the description and the comments below. In the bill, it says a federal employee who has statutory authority to make arrests or apprehensions, who is authorized by the federal law enforcement agency of the employee to carry firearms, and whose duties are primarily engagement in or supervision of the prevention, detection, investigation, or prosecution of, or the incarceration of any person for any violation of law. About four and a half pages long, and not once in there does it mention anything about undercover work or any federal law enforcement officers being exempt from it. Would you like to know the agencies that have federal law enforcement officers? All of them. 
the FBI, the State Department, the Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs, United States Marshals Service, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the ATF, the United States Secret Service, Federal Protection Service, everyone, and this is including law enforcement agencies inside the military, they were considered federal law enforcement officers. So does that mean the day after this bill passes, the undercover officer has to walk into his terrorist cell and be like, hey, what's up, Terry? There's nothing to see here. Don't mind this badge and these patches and my last name. Don't don't mind that. I don't know what this would do for law enforcement. I just don't think she thought it out very well. Stop fighting. So yeah. Another thing I'm seeing about the video that everyone's going crazy over right now, you know, the only video showing federal agents actually coming in and maybe arresting someone. People are like, they can't do that. They didn't read him his rights. I'm sorry that you watch too much Law & Order. A person doesn't have to be read their rights unless they're under interrogation. Unless a law enforcement officer wants to ask questions and the answers to those questions be admissible in court, then you don't have to read people their rights. Sorry to burst your bubble on that one, Twitter. Just wanted to throw that one out there and give you guys an update on what's going on in the wonderful not completely shithole city of Portland. I'm gonna be streaming over twitch.tv slash donut operator as soon as this video is released. Uh, Patreon, Merchant Bunker Branding. Everyone, please have a fantastic day.